I've got quite a lot of plastic that I want to recycle but before I can recycle them I need to cut them or shred them into small pieces and then remelt them and make them into new parts I have a paper shredder here and it's capable of cutting 16 sheets of paper so today I want to do an experiment to see whether or not I can use this shredder this paper shredder to cut these different kinds of plastics and this paper shredder is made by Pen Plus Gear, in case you're wondering. My first test, I want to see whether it's capable of doing what it's being advertised for. There are 16 sheets of paper here. So this is being advertised of being capable of doing maximum 16 sheets. Here we go, 16 sheets of paper. Wow, it works. Wow, that's impressive. So next, let's cut some plastic. And in order for me to cut some plastic, I need to get rid of this cover. So I just remove, I think about four or five screws down on the bottom. Let me show you the inside of this shredder. We got a 120 volt DC motor out to a plastic gear unfortunately right here the rest of the gear system is metal and that is the cutter let me turn it on show you how it runs So let's cut some plastic because the opening here is small. So I have to cut the water bottle in half. Let's try and see if it works. That ah, is pretty cool. It went through the water bottle just like butter. The water bottle is no more. Next is my milk bottle. So same thing. Cut it in half. Here's the other half. Here we go. This is milk water. No more. So next, let's try on some harder and thicker plastic. So this is the plastic case from the Apple iBook laptop computer. This is very old. I have a lot of these around and uh, I want to see if we can uh, shred this. This plastic case is curved around the edge here. And I've tried it on the shredder and it was not capable of cutting through the curved edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and discard the outer edge of the case and I'm only going to use the part, the straight part that's inside on the inside. So here's the piece I cut out and it is straight. And let's see how thick it is. About two and a half millimeter. Last 
Here is the laptop cover, no more. So next I want to try some tool cases. This one is made by Hitachi. And it is very specific to Hitachi. And it does not fit any other tool. So I want to see if I can use the shredder to shred this. I use my mitre saw and cut it into four pieces. And this is a quarter of it. But the problem with the shredder is that it can only cut straight and flat pieces, not bent like this. So I'm gonna have to cut it into smaller pieces again before I can shred it. So here it is. Cut that quarter piece in half. This plastic is actually softer than the plastic on the laptop cover. Even though the thickness is about the same, two and a half millimeter. I think that's because the plastic on the tool case is actually HDPE number 2. And this kind of plastic is actually softer than the other kind of plastic. I think that is probably PVC. Let's give it a try. Again. There you go. As you can see it went through HDPE a lot easier. You know that piece of plastic is quite bent. Here is the other half of the quarter piece. And this piece is quite bent into different directions so I'm not sure it's capable of cutting through this but we just give it a try go through because this part here is too big. That means I have to flatten this out first before I feed that in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a heat gun to heat it up and then just use a hammer to hammer it out of this part here flat. So here we go. I was able to straighten it out just a little bit. Not too much. It's still quite bent. But I cut it in half so hopefully it will be easier. So here we go, power tool case, no more. So there you have it with a 16 sheet paper shredder. I was able to cut everything that I need to cut today from water bottle to milk bottle which is HDPE to laptop cases which is PVC I think to tool cases which is HDPE number two. And what I've learned is that with HDPE, you know it's a little bit bent and crooked, um, it will cut through just fine. And that is two and a half millimeter thick HDPE number two. And that's all I have for now folks. Next video I'm going to use all of these recycled plastic and melt them and make them into new parts for free. Until then, see you next time.